Hello everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to review the Netflix original movie, Gunpowder Milkshake, starring Karen Gillan. Now this movie, it was an interesting one, because I remember hearing about it a long time ago, I mean a couple weeks, I mean maybe, no not weeks, months ago, but I didn't know where it was coming out, and I thought this was going to be a, 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 a movie movie, like like in the theaters, but it turns out it's in a Netflix original movie, and this this is one of those um, movies in the same vein as John Wick and um, Atomic Blonde. Like, it's a film that feels like a comic book movie. Like, honestly, when the, when the movie starts, first of all, let's, I'll just get the original, like, kind of story out of the way. So, Karen Gillan plays this, um, assassin. I believe her name was Sam. And, um, and she, and it's established really early that her mother was this, you know, once badass assassin. But long time ago, when she was young, her mother just, like, left her. You know, you know that's gonna, they're gonna explain why she had to leave later on in the movie. But for now, just know her mother left her. Her mother was a badass assassin, and she left her when she was young. Cut to the now and the present, and she's pretty much taken her mother's um, place as a, an assassin in working for this organ, working for this group called the Bureau. Like I, I believe they're just called the Bureau, and it's like you don't really get a lot of information on a Bureau. You just know these guys run a lot of shit. Their the reach is far and wide. And it's this group of dudes who are in suits and stuff. And like I said, it's really played up. Like, like the, the, the way it's edited and the way it's done is very comic booky. But, and needless to say, she makes... And it's one of those situations where... It's another one of those stories where the assassin makes a mistake for the right reasons. But now they're, um, now they're being hunted. Because... Like classic, like classic assassin, you know, movies like um Leon the um, well <laughs> Leon the professional and whatnot. There's a kid, and but the, the, but it actually does make sense because this kid is the same age she was. Is near is you know kind of reminds her of her when her mother left her, and um something happens. There's a kid, don't want to spoil what, what the situation, and she's now on the run from the very organization. Now she has to fend for herself against the very organization, well, kind of against the very organization that she once, you know, was killing people for. And there is some really fun action, there's some really fun music, they're like there's some like really fun editing. It's a fun movie. It's a fun action movie. Honestly... It's with the old. It's it has this old school B action movie vibe to it. It's not quite on the level of John Wick, or even, and it's not as visceral as um Atomic Blonde. I thought Atomic Blonde was pretty bone crunching and visceral, like everything hurt in that movie. It's not quite that, but it's fun. It has Angela Bassett in it, which is always a plus to me. Um, it, it has a lot of strong female, um, um, female characters in this, and it's not really played up as a, as a, um, feminine, like, um, pro-woman movie, but it is very much a pro-woman movie in the best way possible. It does it without being overt, you know, without being direct or overt or just over, over the top with it, um... And like I said, like it's just it's a it's a fun movie. It's a fun breeze of a movie. It's about an hour and about fifty minutes, and you know, in ten minutes of that's credit. So you know, it, it flies by. Karen Gillan is 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 is, is interesting because I've never really seen. I've only ever seen Karen Gillan play Nebula, and and I've seen her in the Jumanji movies. I've never seen her in anything else. This is the only movie I've ever seen her where she's not covered in makeup or pretending to be or trying to be another character you know not making a character of her own so this was a fun experience getting to see her see her do the action stuff clearly she knows how to do the action stuff so maybe she should do more action stuff reminds by the way uh, there is that rumor from long from from a couple years back that they were gonna call they they that disney was gonna work with karen gillen they wanted karen gillen to come on to be the lead in like not in the soft reboot, which when it's, when we soft reboot, they mean technically it's a continuation, but it's not going to have anything to do. Like, it's in the same world, those events of the old Pirates of the Caribbean movies happen, 
but this has nothing to do with those and we're following new characters and they wanted to center it around Karen Gillan. So perhaps they're still planning on doing that and you know, seeing her in this and you know, um, you know, and seeing her like made me go, you know what? She can definitely do the action down. It's so, like I said, it's fun. The way it's shot, the way it looks, the way they do the music, all the, 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 the way, everything about this is a comic book. I'm telling you, there are certain sequences that honestly could be just panels, you know, like, like you could visibly see panels. Like if it turns out that this is based off of a comic book, it wouldn't be shocking to me. To me, like I said, it reminded me, uh, um, from the moment it started, it reminded me of John Wick. Because that's the vibe I felt with John Wick. Is once John Wick started getting going, I'm like, this feels like I'm watching a comic book that's not a comic It feels like I'm watching a comic book movie, a graphic novel, something based off a graphic novel, like a Sin City or something like that. It feels like I'm watching a, something like a Sin City or a 300. Something that's based off of a graphic novel that, that I could read and physically, but... It's not. It's just the, the director and whatnot had the eye for this, the stylizations. And it's a very stylish, very slick movie. Very fun. Um, there are things in it that don't make logical sense, especially near the tail end. Because at a certain point, she runs into this trio of women who seem to be arms dealers, or really dealers of all sorts of things. But dealers, nonetheless, and they have guns all over the place, but somehow they run out of bullets and have to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. That doesn't make a lick of sense. There are a bunch of things. There are a couple things that, that are logical things that don't make sense. And while I enjoy Carrie Gillen, she's doing this weird eye thing where she's like, her eyes just bugging out of her fucking head, but I can't really uh, get my mind around it. But overall, this is a good, solid action movie. It's a solid action movie. If you just need something to watch to have a good time, check out um, Gunpowder Gunpowder Milkshake, which at first I thought that name sounded ridiculous, but once you watch the movie, the title actually makes sense. I'd give Gunpowder Milkshake a 7.5 to an 8. Like, I didn't have, like, some of the logical things were, were, were iffy, but it was such a fast movie. I had such a good time watching it that I can't really give it but so much. It doesn't reinvent the wheel. I've seen things do it better, so I can't really go into the 9 territory or even the 8.5 territory. But it's a 7.5 to an 8. Some Most of the movie is a solid 8. Those logical things kind of hold the movie back from being, like, as, as, as well, um... Because, like, those logical things kind of halt the movie for me and make me go, wait, hold up. When it, you know, like, when it could just be, like, go, go, go. But otherwise, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was a really fun movie. Like I said, it's a quick watch. If you don't have anything to do on a day and you got, a couple, and you got like, an hour, hour or two to spare, check out Gunpowder Milkshake. I thought the movie was really good. I had a fun time watching it. Thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.